guys, sorry it's so dark in here, still no lighting, I gotta get a whole new light fixture, and I have had a busy, busy week slash weekend, so today let's get right into the fun facts of the Meg to the trench, and stay till the end to figure out what, um, what, what comes next for the next movie. So, the Meg 2, what this is about is Jonas Taylor leads a research team on an exploratory dive into the deepest depths of the ocean. Their voyage spirals into chaos when a malevolent mining operation threatens their mission and forces them into a high-stakes battle for survival. Pitted against colossal or colossal prehistoric sharks and relentless environment plunders, they must outrun, outsmart, and outswim their merciless predators. So, fun facts about the film and filming the movie. So, Meg has been in the works since 2019. After the success of Meg from 2018, it was evident that a sequel is likely to be on the cards. But in March 2019, it was announced that the screenwriters Dean George Harris and John Eric Holber were working on a script for Meg 2. Steve Alton, the writer of the novel The Trench That Film, is based on confirmed that the script was complete in a September of 2020 newsletter. Number two, a new director takes charge. So Meg was directed by John Turtle, Tur Turtle Tobe, sorry if I did pronounce that wrong, who has directed many successful films, including Three Ninjas back in 1992, While You Were Sleeping back in 1995, National Treasure in 2004, The Second National Treasure 2007, and The Sorcerer's Apprentice in 2010. And however, in Meg, Meg 2, fans will be able to see how director Ben Wheatley incorporates his own style of filmmaking to make this sequel more, more special and exciting. The award-winning filmmaker is known for his work in the thriller and horror genres, so the audience can certainly expect the engaging cinematic experience that will keep them glued to the screen. Number three is the great box office expectations. Of course, we always got to talk about the box office um, and the and their predictions and what it has actually made. So the Meg did exceptionally well at the box office. The film's budget ranged around 138 to 178 million dollars, despite mixed reviews. After its release on August 10th, 2018, it was still able to gross over 530 million dollars worldwide. Given the success of the Meg, all I'd will be on Meg 2, the trench to see what others anticipated sequel can make a big splash at the box office. It is no secret that movie goers enjoy a good shark movie that that offers suspense, humor, exciting actions, and terrifying sharks. From the trailer, it is evident that the film will offer everything that shark film lovers and enjoy and will surely draw crowds to the theaters upon its release. Number four, partly shot in Asia. Filming for the upcoming film started at the Warner-owned Leavesden Studios outside London. Parts of the shark film were also filmed in other locations in Asia, including Thailand and Hong Kong. Number five, not the last <coughs> Meg film, both the Meg and Meg 2, The Trench, are based on novels by American science fiction author Steve Alton. The Meg series, written by Alton, has eight novels, namely Meg, a novel, Deep Terror, 1997, The Trench, or The Trench, Meg 2, 1999, Meg, Primal Waters, 2004, Meg, Hell's Aquarium, in 2009, Meg Origins ebook 2011, My, uh, Meg, Night Stalkers, 2016, Meg, Generations, 2018, and Meg, Per. Purgatory in 2022. <clears throat> Given that there is so much material for the future, it is likely that Meg 2 will not be the only sequel that the audience will get to watch on the big screen. So that's kind of cool. Number six is The Meg Trench is a 2023 science fiction, science fiction action film. Obviously, we know that. Number seven, it is titled That Shark... Two is titled Shark Two in some territories. The film, so number eight, the film is directed by Ben Wheatley. Number nine, from a screenplay by John Hober, Eric Hober, and Dean Gorgaris. Number ten, it is based on the 1999 novel The Trench, Steve, Trench by Steve Alton. Number eleven, the film star Jason Statham, Wu Jing, Sophia Kai. Paige Kennedy, Sergio Paris, Manchetta, Skylar Samuels, and Cliff Curtis. Number eight, or 
number 12. Like the previous film, it follows a group of scientists who must outrun and outswim the Titan. Tuller Megalodon, Megalodon, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, when a malevolent, malevolent mining operation threatens their mission. 13. Plans for the sequel were announced to be in early development of, in October of 2018, which we chatted about. Um, number 14. With the script being written by returning writers Dean Gorgaris, John Hover, and Eric Hover. Um, filming began, so this is, we'll be, we'll do a couple more, uh, filming began in various locations in Asia and the London-based Levis, Leavesden Studios in February of 2022, so I wonder where that is, um, Meg 2, The Trench had its world's premiere at Shanghai, so this is number 16, sorry, not, I, I don't know where I'm getting this, Meg 2, the Trench had its world's premiere at Shanghai International Film Fest on June 9th of 2023, and it was released in the States August 4th of 2023 by the Warner Brothers Pictures, um, and in, a in April of 2018, Jason Statham said a sequel to The Meg would happen if the film did well with the public, which it had done, obviously, and it and he said that my feeling has always been that this is a billion dollar franchise if it was done right but to be done right you had to get the shark right get the cast right get the tone right and warner bros have nailed it completely the producers have nailed it obviously you guys have been professionals for many years so yes that that makes most sense uh, in March of 2019, it was announced that the script for the film was in the works with screenwriters Dean Gorgaris and John and Eric Hover returning. I would love to watch these, um, be a part of these movies. They seem so cool and uh, seem like a fun thing, fun time to, to just be acting. And, you know, I feel like that to me, and this is going to sound weird, and I know it's a job, but it's also not. Like, it just seems like you you're you're in your your element you know and that's what you love about it um it continued so filming commenced as planned at the end of january at the warner owned leavesden studios outside london with principal photography starting on february 4th of 2022 it continued there until may before switching to outdoor lo uh, locations presumably in asia so do you guys just like pack up everything and go to the next country to get better shots of like certain areas or certain things that you need in the movie? I am curious to know about this just because I've never been a part of one and that would be cool. I think everyone should be a part of a movie or learning about a movie. Also, of course, you guys get paid really well. So <laughs> next one, uh, 19 is Water Tower Music released a score album on July 28th in addition to the Bang K. Ojo's remix version of Paige Kennedy's song Chomp. And as of August of 2023, this is number 20, uh, August 6th of 2023, Mag 2 The Trenches grossed $30 million in the United States and Canada alone and $112 million in other territories for a worldwide of $142 million. That's insane. That was just by August 6th. So that was two days being in the, um, just being out. So it made $12 million on its first day, including $3.2 million from Thursday night's previews. And it went on to debut to $30 million, finishing second behind hold, second behind the movie Barbie. That is insane. <clears throat> what do you guys think so far? Have you watched this movie? What's your opinions? It's out now. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions. A couple more facts we'll go over and then we are done. So the Metacrit the Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the film a score of 40 out of 100. I find lots of movie critics give very little, li very little amount, like, um, uh, like they don't really give a high score. So I I want to I want to know where that comes from. I'm curious to know. Audiences surveyed by Cinema Score gave the film an average grade of B minus on an A plus to F scale, while those piled at Post Track gave it a, a 72 percent overall positive score, with 55 percent saying they would definitely recommend the video. In 
July of 2023, Wheatley stated that there has been internal discussions about a potential third movie, and the filmmaker stated that while its development depends on the su- success of the second one, he hopes to continue the story as outlined in the novels by Steve Elton. That would be cool to, to learn or see. Again, I've never seen the movie, so I would love to go and start watching them. And it is out now, so go watch it. Leave a comment below what you guys think about the movie. I will go watch it and let you guys know what I think about the movie. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. Bye now. I almost forgot to pull out of pull out of the basket of what movie we are doing next. Do, 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 do. Oh, Haunted Mansion. Cool. So that's so that will be the next movie. I believe that one is out too. So go watch it, and I will bring back facts for you guys.